It is good to be together for this moment of dedication and consecration and celebration. Um, would you pause for a moment and share with me in a time of prayer after the Westminster Chime? <laughs> It might be a bit. <laughs> Let us pray together. <laughs> I think we're in the clear. <laughs> yeah. Would you pray with me? O oh God, you have ordered this wonderful world, and you have given us fruits and flowers in due season. We thank you for the splendor of gardens and the way in which the new life of the field reflects the power of the resurrection. Pour out your blessing upon the Mary Williamson Fagan's garden. May it instill in us reverence for your creation, an ever-increasing reverence towards you, our creator. Let this garden serve as a sacred space offering a haven of solitude and quiet in the midst of our busy days. Bless Mary and John also. Grant them health, strength, and peace this day and in the days to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, welcome to the dedication of the, the Mary Fagan's garden. I think it's going to be known as Mary's garden by the kids, so we're going to instill that in them uh, when, when they start using it, hopefully soon. We've hit every uh, pipe in Lynchburg during construction, so that is why we are here, which limits what we can say, uh, being in the chapel, but there's so many, so many <laughs> amazing, hilarious things that we would love to share. And um, maybe we can do some of that on the tour. Um, but, but since we're here in the chapel, um, I'm going to let better judgment prevail and just turn it over to Don White. Welcome, everyone, um, to this very special ceremony as we recognize and honor our friend Mary Williamson Fagan. In November of 2019, Henry Clark approached me with the idea of doing something. Something special. To recognize and honor Mary for her dedication and many contributions to BES, and I enthusiastically agreed to participate. Very soon after that, I spoke to Mary's daughter, Dabney, and asked her to join me in kicking this off. A few weeks later, Henry, Dabney, and I met with Mary and John to share the news of our intention to honor her, offering her a few options of how we might just do that. This garden which we are dedicating in her name today was the one that Mary selected. And what better place for her to forever be remembered than in the footprint of Mingi Cottage. Mary spent most of her career at VES in the alumni office at Mingi. And by rededicating the footprint of this building she so loved, the school also regains approval from the Virginia Department of Historic Resources. During her 26 years at VES, Mary worked in alumni affairs, planned the big, to school's big events like Parents Weekend and graduation, and added her special touch for each by hand addressing them in calligraphy. However, the relationships she forged with so many of the students through the years may well have been her biggest achievement. Mary's quick wit, sense of humor, candor, and her genuine interest in what was going on in your life made her a favorite among the student body. It's very rare to be given the opportunity to honor someone who dedicated so much of themselves to a cause, or in this case, a school. But we, but we are blessed today to be able to do that. Um, Mary, Mary, I'm sorry. Mary and I met in 1980 my junior year at VES, and we formed a great friendship from that moment until today. She's been like a second mother to me and always taken such a genuine interest in my life here and for the 40 years since I, I, sorry, since I graduated. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. I've always thought my relationship with Mary was unique and different than what other students had with her, but through the two years of talking to others about this honor, I've learned she had the capacity to impact so many in the same way. We are driven in our lives to be successful, but we should all strive to be significant. And Mary has shown us all how to live a life of significance. We should all be so lucky. Her love for this school and the many students that came through its doors during Mary's time here is unrivaled. The support this initiative has received from alumni, faculty, friends, and family is a testament to the wonderful lady we are recognizing here today. The many brightly colored flowers that will grow within this garden will be a reminder to so many of us of our friend Mary and her affinity for bright colors. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to happen. I thank all of you for being here today for this dedication which will forever warm our hearts when we stand here knowing the wonderful person being honored. Mary, thank you for your impact on me and so many others at VES. I cannot think of anyone more deserving of this recognition. You truly are significant. say without um, crying they can't say in the chapel and, uh, uh, Robert High wanted me to tell you Robert High who parked at your house illegally all, uh, for those years wanted me to tell you that this was a damn expensive parking ticket <laughs> but, um, is there anybody that, that has anything on their mind that they, they'd like to say here uh, in this special place about Mary Dante so Henry already made it clear that uh, because we are in the chapel, we should be mindful of the language that we uh, use. So I will not tell any detailed stories that include any quotes from Mary, because I'm not <laughs> sure exactly what the limit is on how many times you can say the F word. <laughs> Uh, my name is Dante Riley. I'm, I'm a graduate of the class of 1999, and I wanted to share, uh, in my experience at VES, uh, this school does a lot of really good things for, for, for kids that go to school here. But one of the best things, or most important things that the school does is teaches our students how to be good stewards um, of the communities that they're a part of and the communities that they will join after they leave the walls of BES. And I've never met a better steward or a better example of that representation of that than Mary. And the way she took care of all of our lives, touched the students and even the faculty and staff members that work here. Apparently, we are all her boys. <laughs> and maybe there's some girls out there too. Um, I will share a very personal story uh, about my own journey. Um, there are many that include Mary, but uh, one that sticks out in my mind the greatest was the first time that I brought my husband to campus. And I was terrified of what that would mean for me and, and my place in the BES community. Mary did not leave my side the entire time that we were here. I actually didn't get to have as much fun as I wanted to because <laughs> she was holding on to me, making sure that I felt safe, that I felt protected, and I felt loved. And I will never forget that experience. And it means just the world to me to be able to be here to celebrate and honor you in this moment, in this space. So thank you so much for your service, dedication, and stewardship of this community. Is 
Does anybody have anything else to like to share? Well, it looks like the rain has stopped, and um, I think we should go take a tour of the garden.